Hallo Leute. Hola a todos. We are Jan und Claudia in International Couple from Germany and Spain. And today we are continuing with our series of Asking Zurich. And we are going to ask a question which is interesting many of you. And you have asked us a lot of times in the comments to ask this question. And the question of today is, how is it to date in Zurich? So we are here right now. It's Friday afternoon. And we are going to ask people who are potentially maybe already on a date or going to a date. <laughs> how is it to date for them? And additionally, we wanted to thank you very much for your support in these previous videos. We really are very, very grateful for that and if you want to support us please subscribe now to our channel and give us a like already now before watching this video and this said let's go <laughs> how is it to date in Zurich Swiss people are really close so they don't really speak up to you mm -hmm. um, that's probably why a lot of people use those dating platforms like to meet somebody and you're both Swiss, right? Swiss. Swiss. Oh, yes. okay. If a woman would come from Spain or Italy, what advice could you give her to date a Swiss guy? Ooh. Oh, that's going to be difficult. One of the problems with us Swiss are that, as he has said before, we are, we tend to be a bit close-minded. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, she's gonna, definitely going to meet some cultural barriers. But I feel like that if she gives the regular Swiss, the average Swiss, some time, she will see that we are very well-spirited yeah. and <laughs> great sure, boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> How is your dating experience here in Switzerland? I have tried many different kinds of dating, like face-to-face -face dating as well as online dating. Mm -hmm. And um, me as a local, I find it pretty hard sometimes to uh, to meet new people mm. especially people from here because we're a bit um, not so open-minded sometimes and uh, I find it easier to meet people from outside of the country like foreigners it's well. easier to meet foreigners than meet with uh, people from Switzerland so even for you that you are a local it's hard to meet Swiss people. Yes, sometimes it's pretty hard, yeah. And why do you think is that? Mm, I think it's a um, big part of it is our our mindset because mm. we're we're so we like to be with ourselves and we're a bit <laughs> well we like to meet with the same people all the time. Okay. But um, I think it changes a bit now now that everything is more more connected and more open. Today we are here with... Arthur. And where are you from? I'm French. And since when are you here in Switzerland? Uh, I, I joined a year ago uh, in Zurich. And your dating life? Uh, dating life uh, in Zurich is, is not the easiest. Uh, it's uh, compared to other cities. Uh, I was in Milan before, I think it was mm. easier. But uh, yeah, Zurich is so far so good. And why do you think it's like a little bit harder than in other cities you have been before? Um, I think there are a couple different things. The main reason is uh, people here tend to be more professional mm. and uh, be a bit more established than, uh, than in other cities where you have a bigger university and a bigger student life, I guess. Uh, I don't have the time as well, mm -hmm. less time. Um, and yeah, people maybe are a bit less open, I guess, in the German culture. Mm. So that, that would be the three things, mostly. understand. Yeah. Today we have here with us Puyan. Puyan, very nice to meet nice you, to Puyan. Meet you. So how is it to date in Zurich? It is, uh, I think, pretty chill, really, especially for Zurich. I think that shouldn't be a problem, but uh, maybe smaller cities that could be a little bit more challenging. So a Swiss and German couple, how did you guys like meet each other? Was it easy to find each other? We actually met on Tinder, so yes, it was quite easy. <laughs> It was only, she was only a swipe away, so oh. it's not too bad. I'm in a long-term relationship since three years now, so um, I don't have too much experience with apps. Okay. None at all, actually. I just use the profiles of my friends and yeah, <laughs> match for them. Yeah. Cool. That's what I do. Today here we have with us... Shubhangi. Very nice to meet you, Shubhangi. Nice. And uh, how is it to date for you in Switzerland? Well, I think I moved here a year ago. It's, it's comparatively difficult, I would say. I'm from India and it's super lively, buzzing all the time. So there are more interactions of meeting people. I think I also moved here to work and not as a student. So there were lesser chances of meeting potential men, I would say. Okay. Well, well, someday. Today here we have with us uh, Danica. 
Eric. Very nice to meet you guys. Nice so, how is it to date in Zurich? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. On a day like this, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and you have several of options, like going out for dinner or what else? I don't know. Ice cream at the lake. Ice cream yeah. at the lake? Yeah. yeah. If you would go today on a first date, what would you do? Yeah. Probably get a couple of beers, sit on the tram, and then ride around Zurich. Wow. wow, that sounds like a nice date, man. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. Did we you should do that? Yeah. <laughs> do you think it's easy to meet people here in Zurich? Like, if you were on the market, let's say, do you think you would find quickly a partner? Well, you can answer that one. I think there's lots of opportunities for, for, for dating, and I think, I guess, with the apps, mm -hmm. and yeah, it makes it, it, makes it very easy. Um, and I mean, Zurich is beautiful. There's lots of amazing places to go and things to do. And um, but uh, but but I think it's not so easy to meet somebody that you you match with. Mm. I say that you feel like you have a connection with. I feel like I had to end that with it with a <laughs> with on a good note, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How has been your dating experience so far? I don't have a good experience. Uh, I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> Please write us a comment. <laughs>
So trust in love because your pot or your top of the pot is just out there in the world and don't give up. And let us know down below in the comments what is the next question you would like us to ask in the streets of Zurich. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.